Hey guys, this is going to do Kyra here with another Guardian Tales video. And in today's video, I want to do an offer review for the new deals in the shop here. Let's break down if these are exactly worth it or not. I figured this is going to be a continuous series going forward. The last one I got a lot of positive comments on, so it seems like you guys like this. this something that would only be done every two weeks when the new patch comes out because they don't they only refresh the shop every two weeks. First one is going to be this eight dollars for eight hundred stamina which is very in line with the normal one where they go $5 for 500. This is just eight for 800. If you want to compare this to what they normally charge for something like this, they normally charge uh, $10 for 500. But if you're going to be buying these at like a quote unquote good value, it's at least in this evaluation here where it's $8 for 800 or $5 for 500. And for the lunar year package, they're offering three of these. So if you're really looking for stamina, you want to boost here, this, this pack, I've, I've bought a ton of the $5, 500 stamina packs. I've been slowing down on my spending here recently, um, but normally I would totally, like this would be a snap buy for me when I was really spending. And then we, just to kind of back up a little bit, the best deals just to make sure are easily this monthly special price package, 100%. And then the second best deal is going to be this guardian pass here. Those are the two good ones. So don't miss out on those. You, you want to kind of budget yourself. Maybe I'll do a video talking about each budget, but I like to look at it as in if I'm going to be spending X amount of dollars, I have to reach certain tiers before I'd ever consider another pack. Like, so for example, if I'm ever going to be spending $8 for energy, that means I'm at least spending the, this right here, this eight bucks. And then I'm also spending that $4. So I'm at least spending $12 in this month for those two packs before I even consider any other packs. That's at least how I look at it. And then I look at it as kind of like a budget thing. Like if I'm willing to spend a hundred dollars a month, then I can fit in certain packs and there's certain packs that just make absolutely no sense. If I'm willing to spend $50 a month, it's something along those lines. If I'm willing to spend $15 a month, then I've already, my budget's done. You know, you like, there's really nothing else to buy. Just wanted to kind of set a frame of reference before getting it further into this. And then next is going to be lunar year package two. And also another thing to keep in mind too, is when they have deals, normally there's deals in the shop. Then there's special deals on top of that. Whereas th these would be an example of the special deals on top of that, where there's some kind of event going on. And since they're celebrating Chinese new year, they're having a, it's, it's a deal on top of a deal, I guess it's, they're a little bit better than what they normally are. This next one, $15, 5,000 gems, five princess edicts. You can get two of these. This would be, if you're looking for gems, this is one of the better gym deals for sure. To give you an idea of a normal evaluation, something like this, $30 for 5,000. That already is half the cost here, even though there's two things you can add here. I'm just trying to give you guys a normal idea of what they're normally asking for in this and how much better of a deal this is when it comes to paid gems. Normally they try to load these packages just from my experience. Whenever there's not a new hero, they'll have really good gem deals. So this would be your time to do this. And then when they release a new hero, and if you're really trying to pull for that hero, if you buy, end up buying something, then you're probably going to be stuck with these normal evaluations for something like this. Um, best I've seen is usually like $30 for 90 to give you an idea. Whereas this would be a little bit better than that. It's not crazy better where it's 15 for or so 30 would get you 10,000. So it's not a crazy increase on the normal good value, but it still is a decent value that, you know, if you're, if you're willing to spend and you've already checked all these other uh, marks off, then I would consider something like this. And you're planning on getting like whatever new hero is, is, is happening. Like th these values, cause these timed ones like this go up in value based on how good the hero is and how close you are if you're going to miss them or not. It's hard to say because there's no guarantee. There's no built-in pity with that. You, the only pity we got is the mileage. So it's kind of a bummer in that situation. $40 for 10,000, but then you get 50 awakening boxes and 20 legendary stones. I would say this like compared to any other evaluation, this is significantly better. It's just when this is when the, the microtransaction price amount really starts to get noticeable. It's like, okay, wait, hold up. But technically, this is a good evaluation. Your budget has to be in like the hundred plus a month category to even consider this. Next is going to be this special sale package. Again, when it comes to option change sounds, like I say a ton on this channel, I can't, I, I don't like the evaluation for them. I like picking them just randomly through events. That's how I like to take option change sounds. But if I was ever going to buy any, this would be the pack to do it. It's just, you're not, you're all you're doing is giving yourself more opportunity versus an actual set evaluation. You're just giving yourself more chance to get RNG'd. Good luck if you end up buying this pack, but this is probably one of the better evaluations I've seen in option change sense, in my opinion. Uh, maybe there was one 
special event that was even better than this, but I don't remember it. If anyone has a screenshot of that, definitely link it down in the comments. If there's a better evaluation, potentially, th this is the one that I would consider getting if you're going to be buying option change stones. Next, this is going to be this limited time summoning package, 1500 gems, 150 summon controllers. You can buy four of these. The more times it's purchasable, probably the good of a deal it is. I would say this is pretty standard for something I would actually be willing to spend money on. In my opinion, yes, it's technically better, but at the same time, it's not much better. And it really just depends on how much you want whatever hero is coming out. And I don't think it's good enough to consider buying early and then saving for whatever next hero. It is it is better than the normal evaluation, but that's just how I look at it. So $15 gets you 1,500 gems, and then it allows you to get this blueprint stuff here. And I want to say there was one that was a little better than this recently. This is a way if you're really trying to push push these merch materials this potentially is a good deal it's just hard for me to we're, we're talking super whale territory here if you're really trying to push merch stuff like when i was really trying to push this stuff like i was spending a decent amount on this game to ever even consider spending this kind of money on just trying to get merch items a little sooner you know, like normally there's really no good ways to get merch materials. So I think some people are just willing to buy these whenever they see them. So I would say for the majority of the player base, this is a hard pass. This is like on the higher end of the, of the um, monthly budget, in my opinion. And lastly, these are all just the standard rates. I call them standard rates. Like there's a term like anchor pricing. And this right here is technically the anchor pricing. Like just look at all this 9,000 uh, gems for $70. No one buys this, but they have to set some kind of anchor. And I would say the true anchor pricing in this game are going to be these deals down here because everyone knows that these deals are trash. So no one's buying these. I don't even know if whales are buying these. Maybe whales are buying these. Let me know if you're like a massive whale, let me know in the comments below. But I would say I don't even think whales buy these. I just think whales buy stuff like this just continuously. They just, you know, because there's people you'll notice they'll have like five fully uh, max limit broken weapons on day one. So they have to be buying something and they have to be buying a lot of it. But I think it's going to be something along these lines. And I'd be shocked if they're buying something down here. And so the true anchor pricing is going to be these. And so I base a lot of my what's a good deal on this kind of stuff, let alone this. Like th this right here, like this is just atrocious compared to even something like this. You know, same price, but just objectively better to give you an idea. But the only limitation is that you could buy weekly limit one of these and one of these. So you got to be in like the 500 to to $1,000 a month budget to ever even consider something like this. You mean the only reason why you would ever buy this is because you can't buy this, which means you've already bought this. <laughs> you know, so you see what I mean? So, oh, and another good deal that I completely forgot about. I would say like when I say good deal, I mean a decent deal. It's only decent. It's not a good deal. I would say this is a decent one. If you're playing a lot, you're enthusiastic about the game, you're willing to spend a decent amount of money, 100 stamina for 14 days is something I bought in a ton of myself especially when i was trying to push and get a ton of heroes so i can make contents i right, guess well that's going to do it for this offer review if you found this video helpful please like the video also subscribe to the channel for more guardian tales content also a lot of people ask me on which emulator i use the emulator i use is ld player the link is down in the description it is a free android emulator that you can use to play guardian tales and other mobile games on your computer so link will be down in the description download that if you want to give it a shot and with that guys i am out peace